There are four or five different groups, but with women, the most common and most obvious tends to be emotional. Um, tearfulness, irritability, um, anxiety, panic attacks, fear, terror, a sense of impending doom, something awful is going to happen, and a sense of loss of control. Um, mentally, a woman can feel, and I experienced this in my own life, just distracted, indecisive, staring at my uh, iPad with my to-do list and I cannot decide what one needs to be prioritised over the next. Or you have your grocery list and you forget it, forgetfulness. Um, simple things like meal planning. Where do I start? What do I make for supper tonight? I've done it for the last 10, 15 years of my life. I don't know what we're having tonight. I don't even know where to begin starting. Um, Physical symptoms are not unusual either. I often used to find in family practice, um, this was more common in women than in men, multiple visits to the doctor with multiple physical symptoms, um, even a fear of having an underlying cancer, and even an obsessional fear of having an underlying cancer, because obsession is a, a common feature also. And multiple investigations nothing being found and yet these symptoms multiplying and not going away. Things like palpitations, um, multiple joint pains, um, unexplained fatigue, exhaustion and this sense of but there must be something wrong with me. Whereas over time it has become evident that there was a primarily uh, emotional underlying emotional disorder. Um, other warning signs are spiritual and social. The tendency to lose interest in friends, lose interest in uh, hobbies, no joy, um, the effort to go out and meet a friend is just too much hassle. The effort to get babysitters to go out with your husband just too much hassle. So there's social withdrawal and isolation. The spiritual, in terms of personal devotions, uh, reading your Bible can become almost um, looking at the page, reading, and then having no recollection of what have I just read. Now, we all experience that, you know, at times when we're tired, but this is something that's continuous, day after day, week after week. It just does not seem to go away. Um, and the length of time of these symptoms is important to take note of. This is not just a one or two day of stress episode where we're really busy, really tired. This is a pattern that's emerging and it's becoming it's beginning to define you you know these uh, signs and symptoms or warning signs if you like do not mean that it's the end of the road that your life is over i i came to that conclusion that my life was over that there was no way out i felt like a ship smashed against the rocks i've spoken to many women who are at that point but god in his grace has taken me out of that through very, um, a holistic approach. He has, done, he has done it for many other women too. And I'm here today by the grace of God. Without him, without um, professional help, without spiritual help, without um, emotional help, I wouldn't be here. And yet, um, I can look back today and I say, you know, that was a bad experience subjectively for me. But in God's perspective, it was good for me to be afflicted. So for every experience like that, there is a purpose and there is hope. And above all, there's an eternal perspective to all of this.